What started in China now making its way to the United States, the coronavirus confirmed in five cases in the U.S. It has doctors cautioning the public on how to prevent contracting the deadly disease. KTSM 9 News reporter Stephanie Shields spoke with a local expert. She is live in central El Paso. There's been several confirmed cases across the country. Doctors say the risk for El Pasoans contracting the coronavirus is low, saying the flu is still more of a danger. As of now, doctors say there are no confirmed cases of the coronavirus in El Paso, but five cases have been confirmed across the U.S. KTSM spoke with local infectious diseases experts who say El Pasoans should not have anything to worry about here in the borderland as far as the coronavirus. Doctors say it is spread by person-to-person -person contact and has very similar symptoms to the flu, such as coughing, fever and shortness of breath. Experts say unless you've recently gone to the Wuhan, China area where the disease originates or came in contact with someone who has, you shouldn't be concerned. It's all about hygiene and prevention, right? So for this virus, it's if you've gone to China and you come back, get checked, right? For influenza, which is really the thing that's focused on and we really need to be worried about, it's hand hygiene, it's covering your cough and ensuring that you get the vaccines. According to CDC, more than 8,000 people have died across the country during the 2019-2020 flu season. Doctors say the best way to avoid contracting any infectious disease is to cover your coughs, wash your hands frequently, and get your vaccines. Live in Central El Paso, Stephanie Shields, KTSN 9 News. All right, Stephanie, thank you very much. And